Okay friends, welcome back. Uh, moving forward for navigation in SAP uh, GUI, web GUI to be specific. So the next slide pertains to searching of T-codes. So we have discussed that there are three ways of accessing a T-code. Uh, one of them was through the easy access menu. The other one was through the favorites and the third one was through the T-codes. But uh, you can imagine that none of them is uh, uh, a logically retrievable method. I mean, we don't know, we are new to SAP, so I don't know, for example, where the balance sheet is, where the financial statements are. So where should I go in the easy access menu? I know it should be in accounting, but there are too many folders in accounting, so it's a question. Uh, I don't know it, so it's not in the favorites as well. So I cannot access it from the favorites. And even I don't know it's T-code because I'm going to access it for the first time. So practical way to do it is just to Google it because if you just Google T-code for blah, 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 you will find so many relevant answers. But if you want to do it within the SAP system, then uh, there is a T-code to search a T-code. Uh, try to comprehend what I'm saying. There is a T-code, there is a transaction to search another T-code. So there is a transaction to look for other transition and the code of this transaction is search underscore SAP underscore menu. So this is actually a T code uh, to look other T code. So I just type search underscore SAP underscore menu and I pressed enter. I'm taken to a screen, a pop-up screen where the system is asked what to search. I want to search FB03. I know a T code, for example, or let's start with a scratch. I want to search financial statement. That's what I want to search financial statement. Continue. And the system comes up with uh, a very huge, a very big list of uh, outcomes. If you see towards the right the scroll bar, uh, you can note that this is a very big list, right? So there are many, many pages for this list. We can go down and we can browse this list. So you note that uh, this is uh, a large list. <clears throat> Let's try to comprehend. Let's try to read it. What does it mean? It means that the word financial statement appears in the easy access menu if you go to accounting. So we, we need to read it from the bottom up. You need to go to the accounting folder, then the financial accounting folder, then the general ledger folder, then the periodic processing folder, then the closing folder, then the report folder, then the general ledger reports folder. And then there is uh, a link which is uh, worded financial statement cash flow. And you see no T code for it. It means this is not a transition. Rather, this is the name of a folder because a folder do doesn't have a T code. So there is a folder with the name financial statement, which we were looking for which can be accessed by this menu. You go to accounting, you go to financial accounting, you go to general ledger, you go to periodic processing, you go to closing, you go to report and uh, you find general ledger reports and financial statements. That's, that's a folder. So just to check why the, uh, it is uh, really the case, what I can do is I can open another session. So I can just copy this uh, hyperlink I go to a new session in the Chrome and then just I type the hyperlink and I have another session of SAP GUI. I can work here. So let's uh, search. It says accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, periodic processing. So let's go there accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, and then periodic processing is the folder I have to look for. Here is periodic processing. Then we come again. Closing report, general ledger reports. So we need to find a folder for closing within the periodic processing. Here's a closing. Then reports. Then general ledger reports. And here is the financial statement cash flow folder. So this is ex exactly locating this folder, right? So this way we can we can actually make, make sense of the other entries as well. If we, if we see the second entry. Uh, there is a corresponding T code with the second entry as well. It means this is not a folder. This is a transaction. Where can we find it? Let's try to navigate it. So it's very difficult to navigate. I should minimize it a bit more. So 
So if you want to make sense of uh, the second entry, <coughs> it says again almost the same sequence. But now we need to go to the financial statements folder inside. And there's a folder general. Then there is another folder actual actual comparison. And then there is a transaction. This is not the folder. This is a transaction because the T code is also available here. So we can go further over here, over there. And we can see actually that this uh, actually lies there. So financial accounting, then channel ledger, and then let's zoom it. Then within general ledger, we need to go to period and processing, periodic processing. Then within the periodic processing, we need to go to closing. And within the closing, we need to go to reports. And within the reports, we need to go to general ledger reports. And then this financial statement. So now we are going inside this folder. And general and actual actual comparison and this is the financial statement so there are a couple of financial statements so all entries we can see this way and we can verify so this is the way to read actually this output that you need to start from the bottom and then you need to go up and if there is a corresponding t code it means that's a transaction if there is no corresponding t code it means uh, uh, it means it's a folder and you paste down and you see that there are plenty of items with the word financial so and there are plenty of uh, branches you see almost 10 or 11 branches folder in folder in folder in folder and so on so that's why i say it's it's a bit jano german it's a bit complex to understand especially the geo geo environment let's go back to the main screen and we come back to the presentation mode and this mode was saying that search underscore sap underscore menu just as we search the term financial statement we can also search the for the t codes for example if i know a t code then i can automatically know the menu path i just type the t code over there for example let's try it again search mm -hmm. and you know as soon as i start typing since i have already typed this t code once so it is context sensitive help appears it automatically appears that it's it's, it's saved so it's in its memory in the session so i just uh, arrow down so it automatically picked it and then i enter two times one to accept and second to go ahead i want to search fp03 so now i am looking for a t code rather than a term or a concept or a... and you know fp03 there are almost three entries with fp03 why three entries because although the t code is uh, in all the cases fp03 but uh, three or four entries rather but there are different menu paths. You can find this in accounting, financial accounting, account receivable document display, and accounting, financial accounting, general ledger document display. It means that one transition is sometimes hidden in more than one branches. So there can be duplications. It doesn't mean there are these are three different transitions. These are the same transaction, but it can be accessed from this menu path. It can be accessed from this menu path, from this menu path, all of them. So we can search for any key term or we can look for any t code through search underscore sap underscore manual let's, let's move forward then uh, something about the document design i skip this slide for the timing because when should, we shall discuss the financial accounting in detail we shall see what the header position date overview and position details mean so i skip it and coming on to help so how can we utilize help in uh, sap context again coming back to the screen there are Two types of help that SAP delivers, right? The first help is known as F1. So, for example, I go to accounting and financial accounting, general ledger, document, and display. The same thing that we tried for the first time. So, we shall be making use of this decode quite often because it's a very important decode. So there are three entries, document number, company code, and fiscal year, which I need to enter some data over here. I don't know what it is. So F1 help is actually to let you know what does this document number mean. So if I press F1 over here, uh, you will note that the system will show me some help. It might take some time. So there is a help, right? It took some time. It says accounting document number. The document number is the key the system uses to access the accounting document. The document number is unique per company code and fiscal year. When entering an accounting document, you can specify the number manually or it can be determined by the system from a predefined area, number range, the relevant area for document numbers, blah, 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 blah. 
we are not interested in making sense of this information. We are just interested in, in understanding how we can use F1. My personal opinion is that most of the times the F1 help confuses more rather than it clarifies anything. So it's not that user friendly. So we need to be uh, very much into the system in order to understand this help. And it, it takes time. Initially, it's difficult to realize. Similarly, for the company code, I press F1. Let's see what happens. On the company code field, I pressed my cursor. I, I, I kept my cursor and press, uh, uh, pressed F1. It says the company code is an organization unit within financial accounting. Again, a help which is of no help. And then fiscal year, similarly. So any field, you can just uh, put your cursor over there and you can uh, press F1 to call some information about that particular field. Let's go back. Let's try to make sense what this out this this OK code OK box or command boxes. I don't know what it is, for example. So I press F1 over here. The system should display some help about it. So this is the command field. And there are plenty of things which have been mentioned. But keep in mind that these are uh, these won't work here, although you, some of you who are very keen to, to, to explore various dimensions of the system can try them, but they won't, won't work in uh, G, web GUI. They do work in resident GUI. Uh, uh, if you ac access the app uh, as a system through application GUI windows, not uh, the web GUI. But again, the help is the uh, same. Uh, it should be corrected for the web GUI, but it is not. This is another general German feature. So this was F1. The second level of help is known as F4. Let's go again to FB03. And you see, if I put my cursor here, and if I put my cursor here, there are some differences. Can you note a difference? When I put my cursor here, there is nothing on the right hand side of this field. But when I put my cursor on the company code field, there is a lens, there is a fine type of button over here. So this is the second level of help which can be called either by clicking this button or which can be called either by pressing F4. Both are same. When you press F4, what system actually does, I pressed F4, the system actually shows you list of potential values, right? So because there are some fields where there is a list of potential values, there are some data fields for which there is a no list of potential values. For example, if you are going to type a country, uh, whenever you type a, web, a form on a website, the country is not something open. You cannot type anything you want in the country field, but there is a list of values behind the country. So you need to select among the 220 countries or so. So sometimes there is a drop down menu or sometimes you start typing and the system automatically shows the name of the country. So that is that is the purpose of F4, that whenever there is on the back side, there is a list of values, then F4 actually shows that list of values so you get select among them. But whenever on the back side, there is no list of values, for example, in the document number, you saw that there was no find button over here. There was no, nothing was shown. So even if you click F4, nothing will happen because there is no list of values. Just like uh, the system uh, website on website, there's sometimes some websites ask you for your name. So when you type your name, there is no potential list of values. You can type anything you want. But uh, when you type country, there is a potential list of values. So F4 works everywhere when there is a potential list of values. And you can see here that for the company code, we have 11 values. We have, these are the company codes. And these are the company names. These are the cities. These are the currencies, right? So we can choose any one among them. For example, I want to choose uh, this one, Global Bike Inc. US. I just double click it and the system takes it. So if I don't know the code, I can just call this num uh, information to F4 or this button and the system will show me the list of potential values. If I do the same F4 here, there is no button over here, so I just press F4. Let's see what happens. Status bars, SAP is saying something. No input help is available. So there is no input help available. There is no list of values. Similarly for fiscal year, should there be a list of values or should there be no list of values? Although there is no find button shown here, let's try F4. Again, the same message, no input help is available. For fiscal year, there is no input help because the fiscal year can be theoretically, although practically there should be a list of values, but theoretically it can be 1700 BC and it can be 9999 theoretically, right? So the F4 works over here. So in some data fields, you can see F4 will be working. In some data fields, you will see F4 won't work. What do you think about date? If there is a date, should F4 work or not? This is my question. You should try yourself. Uh, you should think yourself first that whether F4 should work on a date field or not. And then you should just go uh, 
uh, on in uh, some of the transactions or we will do it in while practicing and we'll see whether f4 works in a date field or not and you should have uh, worked out the answer yourself as well so this was the second level of help f4 and there is a third level of help which is known as application help let's try to access it help application help this is help.sap.com so we can access it directly also uh, from google help.sap.com a very 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 huge big website plenty of things plenty of all the products right so sap software there's no one sap software there are many and as you have already noticed that sap s4 hana is a package of one of the package of products there are many others sap erp is one of the products in sap s4 hana there are many others within sap erp financial accounting is one of the application financials is one of the application there are many others then within the financials we have financial accounting as one of the application again there are many others and then within the financial accounting we have so many t codes and we have so many folders and so many transactions so it's a huge huge ocean so it's very difficult to locate uh, the worthy help over here on help.sf.com so it's better just to google whatever you are going to search just google it so these are the three levels of help let's move further Uh, finally, user specific settings. So uh, uh, we can change the color scheme and the layout, but this is not available in web GUI. So here I have mentioned, so this slide is not relevant for us. It's not available. But what is available is that you can mention your name with your user ID. So there is a T code, which is SU1. So you just try a T code over here, SU1, SU1, and press enter and you will be taken to a screen where you can actually set your title my title is mr for example do not change your last name keep your last name as your user id by default your last name is your user id so please keep it please don't change it please do not change your last name i repeat my dears please do not change your last name because it's help it helps me locate uh, your work in the system so in the first name for example i can type my full name muhammad asif jafar you can type your name of course you don't need to type asif jaffa and academic title again you see this this button this button means there is a potential list of values so again this is a janu german there are some there is a technical issue for some of the transactions some of the t codes they are not fury based some of the t codes are developed in fury based so on some of them you will see this button where f4 works on some of them you will see the find lens button where f4 works so it means f4 works here so you can just try F4 and the system will show you potential list of academic titles. So these are the academic titles. For example, I select, I'm not professor so far, so far a full professor. So let me select doctor, for example, and then language. So there is a drop-down menu for the language. So we can select language. At least you should, you should mention your names. And if there is already exist a name because this user ID, which you are using was previously used, used by somebody else. So you can just override the name and override the details. And then remember you need to press the save button so you press save and you are back the system will prompt you the system will show you that your information is saved and this message should be shown on the status bar uh, okay friends so my connection is a bit uh, okay it's showed user teach triple zero has changed so this is the message on the status bar and then i am again back on the main screen so this is the uh, conclusion of the SAP GUI navigation uh, content. You should know the parts of the four parts of the screen, the names of the four parts of the screen. You should know the three ways of accessing a transaction. You should know what does a T code mean. You should know the meaning of a transaction in SAP context. You should know uh, how to use F1 and F4. Where is F4 applicable? Where is it is not? And we shall work in F4 further uh, over uh, the upcoming sessions and in the next session uh, we shall move forward towards uh, uh, other transactions and uh, other features of sap especially in financial accounting thank you